play tonight? I'm looking forward of to it. Of course I'm ready to. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. I was you guys, uh, born ready. You guys drinking tonight? Or am I the am I the last of the Mohicans that's drinking? I bet you nope. they'll be drinking tonight. Well, I, you better not be drinking, Zerker. You're like 12 years old, so you better not be. I uh, might have poured some schnapps and some Jagger. You better not. Parents liquor. You better what? not. Dirt, you drinking? Lormar? Oh, yeah. Yep. Slamming it, baby. What are you drinking, Lormar? I don't drink much except wine, so I have some um, pink Moscato here. Whoa! Cheers. <laughs> I don't That's... drink much, but when I do, Tozekis. What about you, Vey? What's the, uh, the alcohol of choice tonight? She may be passed out already, guys. We may not have a druid. <laughs> yes. Warren, what about you? Mountain Dew? Uh, Coke? Unfortunately, uh, because of medical reasons, I am not able <clears throat> to drink anything but water. Oh man, water! You can at wow. least you can at least put vodka in that water. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish, but unfortunately, I am unable to. All right, so we're going to be without Talundras again this week. Hopefully, this will be the last week. If it's not, we'll be looking for a new mage next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll the alcohol's already kicking in after a after a, a beer and a half. It's it's already starting to kick in a little bit, guys. You didn't ask me what I'm drinking. What are you drinking, Dirt? I well, figured you'd be drinking a hobo, like a hobo <laughs> drink or something, to go with that hobo meal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, much like Lomar, I only drink wine, so I have Mad Dog 2020, plum flavor. <laughs> Mad Dog 2020. Uh, are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got some Jack Daniels. Whoa, the the hard stuff. Yeah. Holy shit, Vay, are you back yet? That Maker's Mark might have taken her out already, guys. No. Yeah, I'm back. I was just having a mic issue. Ah. Uh, what's your what's your uh alcohol choice tonight? Is it Makers? No, but I like the platinum tonight. <laughs> what it bl blood light platinum? <laughs> yeah, I've, blood light. I I've never <laughs> I've never I I'm sorry, I've never heard of Bud Light Platinum. No, I went through all the bankers last night. Did you? Is like the Bud Light Platinum like the good Bud or something like that? No, I've, I've never heard of it. Seriously, sounds interesting. What's it taste like? Is it a dark beer or regular Bud or? No, it tastes like water, like any light beer. No, it doesn't. Oh, so it is a light beer. All right. I think it does have like five percent alcohol. It's five or six, isn't it? Six, six percent. Six, yeah. yeah. Oh. My Killian's Red has a. Uh, Something. It's got some. Where's it at on the bottle? Come on. I will be you guys' uh, designated DM or designated Dungeons <laughs> Dragon player tonight. Well, I can't even see what percent alcohol this is. I would say this is probably six, seven cents. It's a red lager, so this is good, man. This stuff's good. This shit puts hair on your chest. Good stuff. Yeah. Gillian's Irish Red. Mm -hmm. Who told that uh, the bar joke the other day that was really funny? Two down, on number three, guys. About the cop and the falling the drunk guy? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. That was a funny joke, though. Alright, so you guys want to go ahead and introduce your characters, and we'll we'll start. And, and hey, Warren. Good evening to you too. I finally just hey, see Dave. you in chat. Yeah, I didn't. I hadn't seen you in in Teamspeak all day, and I was getting concerned. Uh, I was like, oh, oh boy, no, oh, no, oh man, no. oh, oh, was that Boris? <laughs> <laughs> that was Boris. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, that, that's uh, horrible. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that just that's, that's that was one of those sliders that just came out of nowhere, man. 
All right, you guys go go for it. Woo. All right, wow. That sorry about that burp, guys. That was All monster. Right, okay. Okay. All right, good. Uh, I'm Warhawk. I'll be playing uh, Druk, the Dragonborn Woo. Paladin that has been trapped in the pyramid for a very long time. And, and a soldier of Corvacus. Who was that again? Corvacus. Who? <laughs> uh, I am Dirt, Dirt the Daring, and I will be your fighter this evening. I am Boris, and my bear is mm. Faye. Together we make up the backwards druid. <laughs> 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 Seems thief. Oof. Wow. I'm Lorma, your trusty cleric for I the night. I failed my constitution, Dirk, Stephen. Woo. I would like to say welcome back over there as he logged out last night, last time, <laughs> last week. <clears throat> what? Sat down on the gra ground, cross-legged, and then poof, disappeared. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, so what happened with that? Zerker, what what happened with that? Why'd you have to go? Did like the house catch on fire or something? Yeah, basically. <clears throat> okay. People started throwing rocks at the window. And things escalated to one and another and ended in bloodbath, I guess. You know, same old, same old. No, but seriously, uh, I had to wake up early in the morning and uh, my parents just literally came walking into the room screaming, What the fuck are you doing up this late? Boy, Dirt called that one, didn't he? He did. Dirt, Dirt nailed that shit, guys. Dirt, yep. you nailing things again? Well, I don't, I don't get to nail anything in real life, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you had a girlfriend. Uh, actually, I've got a uh, Sandman's woman over here right now. She just poured me another cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, oh, bonbon. <laughs> No, yeah, one's tied yeah, up in yeah. the basement don't count, though. <laughs> there she is. Is she singing? You, you please should. Please believe in me and everything. <laughs> Put Bonbon bon on here for a second. Put Bonbon bon on here. Yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna ask Bonbon bon when she wants to uh, when, when she wants to play some Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> you don't want can that. Can fill out <laughs> one of our mage. I, yeah, I do want that, actually, Dirk. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, Dave. <laughs> uh, you, got, you got the hurly swirlies, Bonnie? Oh, she's got the hurly swirlies. Uh, <laughs> Alright, who's, who's got the, who's got the uh, recap from last week? Holy shit, let's get this going. This is great. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I wasn't told anything, so. Not where I. Don't expect me to do a fucking recap. Please. Dirt. Anybody? Anybody? Dirt. Improv. Yeah, Dirt can improv. I can do uh, next week's. Okay, Dirt do an improv, huh? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Um, let's see here. We're bringing in the closer to finish the game. Oh God, you guys! Um, <clears throat> armor. Nothing like right, prepared players, you know guys. What? Go figure. The I guy that really... just show up. <laughs> all right, I can do so. Cheers. Um. Oh right, yeah, please do. I right, honestly so didn't write much now. Last week we uh, busted down the door from the library into the statue room, a statue of Ione. Uh, she was enchanted to do some force damage when we got close to her. Uh, some of us took damage, but the uh, knowledge eater that we were falling into that room happened to have died. It seemed like he ran into the statue and got burnt, uh, got burned by it by its force damage also. Uh, we searched the room, found a few, uh, scribbles, but nothing of importance, uh, Abadar disabled the statue from doing any more, uh, damage. We, uh, listened to a couple doors, figured one of the doors was saved as Dirt didn't hear anything behind it. Uh, 
We open the door. I said Arvo door, dear. Over dear. Arvo door. Arvo dear. Arvo dear and Caravagus. R two D two and C three PO guys. Carcivicus too. Okay. So yes. Start. Anyways. Uh, we went through the room, found another knowledge eater. Uh, it ran behind some curtains by the time we got up to it. Uh, dirt ran through the curtains, and uh, there happened to be a magic. I don't know if I'm going to have enough beer, uh, beer for that, guys. Like Kravikus. Because I'm, I'm hey, almost yeah, right done with three. And, uh, I'm so halfway we down. Them. This uh, Kravikus does not look like my. Uh, the guy I followed under. Um, my lord, and uh, a couple more mine eaters came and attacked us. Uh, then we ended up in a room with uh, a little temple art dome type thing with some runes on there. I found a key. The runes were in draconic. I read them. I got a riddle. And then this voice started talking to me. I thought it was Vey. Ended up not being Vey. Ended up being Versa uh, Versalis. Versalis. Varelis. Varelis. Thank you. And, no uh, yeah, and then, uh, we started investigating some of that. She gave me some information, needed to find two more keys, and we were on our way to look for, for, for more keys, and we ended up at this intersection before Dave decided to have a tree fall on his power line. Yeah. Oh Wasn't there a Carcificus involved? No, 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 Sarcophaguses. <laughs> that was great. Alright, so yeah, sorry about ending a little early last night. Well, last week, guys, uh, had to take care of that. And that's when the fun began, actually. Monday was sort of like a boring day for me, but then after that, all hell broke loose. So, alright, so this is where you guys at. I'm going to put you guys back on the map. As I'm flinging bottle caps and shit around everywhere. <clears throat> Sir Dirt, what did you think of 5th edition, man? Um, I really like 5th edition. It's It just speeds things up and simplifies things greatly. So, yeah, I really like it. Yeah, it is pretty solid. Not a lot of yep. massive bonuses and you know stats are nope. pretty plain. I really like it. Hey, Dave, What's wrong with bonuses? To... <laughs> we need, we'll need to bring the, the Swede down to us. He's stuck in the top room. Oh, why is the Swede Stuck. up there? Why are you up there? Because that's where he logged off at. Oh, that's right. Orville Deer. We're down to the south. <clears throat> yeah, I can move myself. The south. I used to know a general from the south. He was a general of the <laughs> southern army. Actually. I probably did know him. Uh, was that General Robert E. Lee by chance? It might have been. Oh, my goodness. Cheers. So this is where you guys are at. The South will rise again. <coughs> oh wait, yeah, sorry. Yeah, the the South is still fighting the Civil War, guys. <laughs> so you guys yeah, are at this. All my ancestors were so southern. So <clears throat> you guys are here at the intersection. You guys know that to the west, uh, there was a ton of rats. Uh, Gook, you know that uh, the rats were never there. The skeletons were there, never there. And to the east, you alerted the party that there are the green scale lizards. Well, the green scale lizardmen tribe. They're, they're, you know, it's like, like I was, you know, like, well, sorry, like you were saying last week. I'll let you guys kind of carry on. You got, you guys got plenty of ways to go. It looks like you cleared everything to the north. Uh, everything to the west is cleared. So you still have south and east to explore, it seems. Oof. Oof. Alright, so uh, my knowledge of the, the region, I tell the party that uh, there's some green scale lizard folk uh, down the hallway to our east, and uh, there's about a half dozen of them. But, uh, they are not vicious until you uh, encroach on their space, and uh, yeah. I recommend that we don't go that way unless we really, really have to. Hmm. 
I think we'll be fighting things anywhere we go. Are <laughs> yeah. they particularly tougher than the, normal? Or This is 4th edition. <laughs> <laughs> right. It does a dungeon. I expect to fight things. This is 4th edition, for sure. Combat heavy 4th edition, so... <laughs> uh, I, I say that they're quite vicious in their attacks. Uh, they're very <clears throat> territorial, and they will fight to the death to uh, protect their territory of this temp part of the temple. Well, they're pretty much going to have to fight to the death because we're going to kill them. Ooh, I like what? it, Dirt. I like it. I don't know of any doors to the east, so that leaves us going south or west. Based on uh, what we know now. That we may find another door. You mean let's, west? Let's, you mean south west, or east? Yeah, so yeah. we need to either go south or east. Sorry right, about sorry. that. Let's go south, and we'll see if we can maybe work our way to them another way, maybe. I would uh, recommend that. Southward ho. Hmm. There's a hoe in the south? <laughs> oh my. Hmm. Oh my! Oh, it's Garak friends! It's Garak friends! You bring heads for Garak! Ha ha ha! You bring new heads! Drug, no, no. And he's kind of smashing his club on the floor. You bring heads for Garak head collection! I told Garak, I said, Garak, go back up this hallway here that we just came from. We left you a bunch of heads up there, man. Oh, They're all yours, goody. buddy. What oh, kind? Nice. All different kinds, buddy. They're you, just scattered everywhere. You, you don't tell Garak! Huh! <laughs> 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 I love the voice. Good start. Uh, <clears throat> Garak, there, there, there's, there's knowledge eater heads up there. What? Knowledge? What is that? They look like alien heads. They're really special heads. Oh, no worse than Dragonborn! <laughs> Dragonborn, stupid head. Mind eater head's nicer. <laughs> oh my god. This is not a good thing with me drinking tonight, guys. I'm telling you, because I am, like, almost some of my third one, and I'm already, like, really feeling this. <laughs> nice. They, you could definitely outdrink me, I think. <laughs> So guys, we can go south, west, or east on this area, I think. Let's check out south. I'm down south. south. I go! Yeah. Where, where you say heads were? North. Up Just the way. Up that way. Head north. Oh, are they lizard men? Huh? No lizard men. Keep going yeah, north. Yeah, I'll actually, the yeah, go get some lizard skulls while you're at it. Oh, the, no, this is not nice to Garak. I go get heads. <laughs> he kind of just stomps off the hall to the north. See, 4th edition isn't all combat, guys. Well, it's what you make, of course. Yeah. We are made friends with, uh, with the Etten. Correct. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think you made friends with him, but... Uh... Well, the mage was here. So... We kind of quietly go down this hallway because I don't think I remember this part of the place because oh. you haven't told me anything. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh, wow. Have I been south, Dave? I don't know. Hey, Dave, I'm going to oh. put up my hands for everybody to stop for a minute. Like, you know, hold up my hand. Okay. And stop. And then I'm going to come up here to the corner and uh, carefully peek around the corner and see what I see. Sorry guys, I'm like totally burping and everything. I'm already getting a little tipsy. And what do I see? So, as you enter this chamber dirt, you notice that the floor, ceiling, and walls are all covered with uh, thick, rich earth. You see that there is a dense thicket, all these, these dense thicket walls that are covered with, you know, with the dirt, the earth, the spines, the, you know, thorns, 
berries, and you see that this, you know, dense wall of thicket reaches the ceiling, and it form basically forms a wall that's forcing you to turn either right or left. You also notice that there is a dim yellow glow that's filling this chamber as well. And the thickets are dense enough to block vision, and their vines are covered with long, sharp thorns, like I was saying, the thorns, berries, and you know all that other good stuff. But there are the outer walls as well, which are the you know the, the smooth stone that it seems like it's uh, the perimeter of the room. But these uh, but these hedges they literally go to the from the floor to the ceiling. Are these bushes here? I'm clicking on. <clears throat> yeah, those are those that... are bushes that are also growing in the grass as well. Correct. Okay, I look at Van. I say, "Hey, look! I think I found another place for you to poop." I can live here. <laughs> Drunk? Do yeah. you know anything about this area? No, I've never this been biome. down this way. This is home sweet home for you, there, Van. Mm -hmm. Boris is definitely liking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's purring. <laughs> So well, what do you guys think? No. What do I know of the area? Uh, with my nature sense or whatever. And these uh, fruit bearing trees or bushes or are they dangerous or any poison? Why don't you give me a nature check? Alright. It's fucking hot in here. I should have never turned off my AC tonight, guys. Maybe when we go on break, maybe I'll have to turn that back on. Holy crap. So, about that with your plus 16 to nature. That's crazy. <laughs> Leave it to me to roll poorly anyway. Oh, uh, Stevens, thank you very much for the donation, Stevens. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, alright. As you start to look around you notice that the berries they're like a raspberry like a blackberry the thorns they will definitely hurt you that they're not poisonous but you will take damage if you try to burst through those you know the, the wall of the hedge basically the wall of vines you just don't think that it can be you know penetrated no oh, get that area right there yeah yeah, this is the hedge right here. And you think that this could be possibly a sort of like a hedge maze. A hedge maze. Oh god. That's the uh, no. that's the alcohol talking. So yeah, and it's definitely not so something that you've seen before, you know, back in the Fey, the Fey Wild. And it's you know that there could uh, probably some uh, probably some ab aborians or something in here. That's that. That's what you remember back from the Fey. Then mm -hmm. I look at back at Fey and I say, "Oh God, I hate mazes like this. It reminds me of back when I was younger, and I used to hang out with my friend uh, Thank on you his very much, farm, Stevens. on his family farm, and his drunken rogue uh, uncle." would come by and get us lost in the corn mazes and then he'd try to take advantage of us. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Wow. Road. Yow. Yow. Horrible. Ah. Name was Eamon. <laughs> His name was Eamon. Scared. You want to point to the bear where he touched you? God. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my go? god Thank Where do you, you want to go then? Appreciate it man Let's go West yes. That is unbelievable <laughs> South looks too obvious we're gonna have to take a break pretty soon. I'm already out of alcohol. I brought three beers here back to the back to the computer room, so I'm already out. Oh, I may have to go gosh. get the rest of the. Uh, I may have to go get the rest of the six pack. Go get the bottle, Dave. <clears throat> Dirt. I don't know if I want to break that open. My last. I say no. Uh, can I do a search in the area? 
Sure. What would you like to search for? I mean, what are, I mean, what are you actually searching for? Well, I'm looking to see because this is maze, <clears throat> and the outer wall I'm guessing is stone. Correct. Looks like it's crafted. It is. Everything it else is. looks nature. It's just yeah. It's the walls and the ceiling are pretty much exactly like the rest of the complex that you've been in. The smooth stone walls. The ceiling is smooth. You know, the, the ceiling is also tiled. But this place is basically... It's like the Feywild, man. Right. So Dave. it's a real thick uh, ground cover of grass. Thank you, Steve. Bush, appreciate it, man. Vines, correct? It is. The, the You know, the vines have real long thorns. These, horn, these, <laughs> these horns... These thorns are like, at some points, two and three inches long. They're like little sharp daggers sticking out. So you know that uh, it will definitely hurt if you try to if you try to rush through that wall. All right. Well, just walking along, though, uh, I can't really see the ground because of the uh, overgrowth, so I want to walk with my staff in front of me poking the ground just to make sure I don't uh, step into any holes or traps or ropes, or triggers, or anything like that that might be in the area. Okay. I'd also like to do a perception check to see if I, like, the is there wind blowing or if there's smell or if I hear anything? <clears throat> there's no wind blowing, no. No okay. smell. Actually, give me a perception check, War, uh, Warhawk. Okay. Gosh, I must be drunk because I can't do the th macro right. Oh, no. <laughs> you need a you need a hug or anything, man? You, you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. You're a tap out. <clears throat> so you might hear a little bit of rooting, maybe some something scraping in the ground. You're not sure what direction it's coming from because it is such an open room, and you see you have these tall hedges that are basically stretched to the ceiling. But it seems like it could be coming from Maybe towards, maybe ahead, maybe to the right. I'm maybe to the west. The corner, kind of watching the maybe back. to the south. I'm sorry. Yeah. But you do hear a little bit of rooting. Okay. Oof, man, this beer is good. Fuck, I should have never drank that stuff. <laughs> I'd also like to do a perception uh, check. Go up to Vay and tell her I hear some. Before you roll it. Come Sorry about that, Warren. If you guys are wanting to do checks and stuff, you guys need to be a little bit more verbal on what. Just don't say, "Oh, I'm doing an arcane check," because arcane check can mean any a multitude of things. All right. Perception check can mean a multitude of things. So, a little bit That's more why descriptive. I, said it the way I, did. I would like to. No, I'm talking about Ar Ar Arvaldorf. Oh boy, Ar Arvaldorf. So you're looking for you're looking for traps and traps. All that right. tracks anything basically on the ground. Oh well, that would be tra Isn't that would be a survival? What is? Hold on. Stand by. Yeah, it would be a. I would think it would probably be. Probably nature. Just, just, just check for traps, basically. That's what okay. I'm gonna do. Here's the rope. I'll also do passive stuff for you as well, Orville Deer. But yeah. but right there, uh, up to that point, to where you're at, you haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. Actually, nothing right. at all. This is just a nice, pretty forest to you. Sweet. What's up, Heavy? So I, I look uh, back at the party and I say, all right, guys, we can either go south or or we can continue going forward uh, up to you. Which way do you guys want me to go? Let's bring let's up, follow this wall. Bring up the rear. Follow I told the wall. Bay that I heard sounds coming. I heard